So United have just lost to the fourth best team in Kazakhstan. Astana 2, United 1. They didn't have a point on the board in the Europa League this season. But that won't matter to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And I don't think it should matter to you. There should be no knee-jerk reaction after this defeat. Because if Solskjaer wanted to win this game in any way, shape or form, he wouldn't have taken 14 teenagers to Kazakhstan and put out the youngest ever team that we've put out in a European game. If it mattered for him to win. What mattered to Solskjaer in this game was giving the youngsters a taste of first team football to help them in their development. It was a decision which ultimately backfired in terms of the win because United lost, but so many of those players there, Garner, Levitt and Laird, probably the three standouts for me, got really good experience under their belt and put in impressive performances, especially in that first half where Astana put zero pressure on United, but we were so composed, which is something that you wouldn't expect of a ton of players making their debuts. But Lingard got the goal. United were in absolutely total control. Levitt and Garner in midfield particularly were impressive. Yes, they didn't really need to go forward too much. And sometimes they broke through the lines with passes and it was a lot of sideways football. But it was controlled and the likes of Fred and Pereira just don't do that. I haven't done that this season. And that was the position where I wanted to see what Levitt and Garner can do because I think it's the position where United are weakest and where there's the biggest opportunity for one of these kids to come through. So I think they'll both be very happy with their performance. As will Laird at right back, bombing down the right wing, ran past his man on multiple occasions, looked dangerous for a lot of the game. And there's going to be a lot of frustrations for the fact that we have lost to such a terrible football team. But as I said, that game was not about the result for Solskjaer or he would not have taken all those kids. It was about bringing them through, giving them the opportunities. And some of them took them and others didn't. Tahith Chong, currently delaying on a new United contract is what the reports are saying in the press. And he missed the opportunity. It was 1-0 to United, Shaw squared it. Chong missed an open goal. 38 seconds later, Astana scored with their first shot on target. And they had not been threatening at any point. Had Chong buried that game, set and match, it might have turned into a 4-0. Just pure spectacle for United. Instead, the youngsters were under pressure and they didn't respond. They couldn't respond. The likes of Gomez, I think I expected a little bit more. Lingard, he scored. You would have probably hoped for more from him in that situation. It's going to be in those moments where the youngsters are tested the most and they didn't deliver in that sense. But the overall, I'm definitely looking at the positives. I'm not going to try and throw all these kids under the bus because we've lost to Astana X, Y, Z. And so many of you might just see that as some mad positive outlook, given that we've just lost to a Kazakhstan side, which is kind of fair enough. But it's just the way I'm seeing this game. I was really, really looking forward to the start of it. We saw Levitt. We saw Ghana, really wanted to see both of those. Laird started, Mela came on, Ramazani came on. Debuts galore. It's a shame for Bernard at centre-back that the ball came straight off his chest and went in. I don't think he was that impressive. He definitely, for me, looked quite nervous and understandably so. Luke Shaw in his first game back for months. He's got a long road ahead of him because of how good Williams has been doing since he's come in at left back. It's going to be tough for Shaw to get back into that team. But let's see what he does. I think positionally he was caught out quite a lot. But that's always the case with Luke Shaw. That's never changed, even when he was at his best. Let's see what happens with Williams. But for me, the main story is probably Levitt and Garner's performances in midfield. I just thought they were very impressive. Yes, they could have done more going forward, but central midfielders, you're... Priority is not that. Your priority is to keep the ball moving, keep it in possession, keep it going. And I think they did that very well. Yes, they could have been more expansive going forward, but that's what Angel Gomez should have done more of because he was the attacking midfielder. That's what Jesse Lingard should have done more of because he was an attacker. Mason Greenwood, again, I think he looked very, very good. And then their keeper, Eric, pulled off two worldy saves in that second half. One from a Gomez free kick, one from a Greenwood shot. It could have been all different. It's a shame that that miss by Chong was the pendulum swing in the game. 
Because up until that point, United were in, um, I mean, total control. They were about as threatening as a pit ball in a ball pit. Nothing. But United, it's a shame that that didn't turn out to be the win that it could have been and should have been as, as far as those first 55, 60 minutes goes. But then Chong missed. They equalised. They scored soon after. And at that point, United were an inexperienced young team without the ability to break down a tough defensive unit at that point. And that's what the experience is all about. Solskjaer will take the positives from that. As I said, for me, the main positives were Garner and Levitt and Laird. Who were yours? Let me know in the comments below. It's such a shame that that didn't turn out to three points. But for a lot of those kids, it'll be a big step in helping them understand how big that transition is from under-23s football to first-team football at United. Let me know what you think about the match in the comments below. Did you have a man of the match? Just let me know. It's a shame we lost, but I think Solskjaer will take the positives.